So in this video, I'm going to show you how I manipulated light in a small space in order for me to properly light and shoot these images. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload videos. Now, if you want to see more of my images, you could also follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So basically what I did here is I had my assistant photographer shoot a series of BTS photos, which I will show you now and basically explain how I lit and shot these images. But before that, I want to go through the equipment that I actually used. So my camera was a Sony A7R Mark IV and my lens was a 24 to 70 2.8 GM. I basically just used one light and two modifiers. The, the light that I used was this one. This is my Nanlite Forza 60B. The reason why I chose this particular light is because I shot in a place called Studio Namu. It's an indoor studio with a lot of set designs that had good existing ambient light. But the problem with that good existing ambient light is that it's just all over the place. It looks really nice, but it cannot be focused on your subjects. That's why I chose to use a continuous light instead of a flash because I needed to be able to match the color temperature of that existing ambient light with my artificial light or my continuous light that I was introducing in the scene. So with this one, since this is a bicolor light, I could just manually adjust it and eyeball basically how the color of the light is matching that of my existing ambient light. Of course, I can do that with a speed light. However, in order for me to be able to match it, I would have to put a series of CTO gels or color temperature orange because the existing ambient light was more in the warmer tone and having to add color gels is not as precise as actually manually dialing in the color temperature that you want, okay? So this Landlight Force 60B can be connected to these two modifiers. These two modifiers basically is one that's giving me soft light and one that's giving me directional light. So let's start off with this one. This is the Nanlight projection mount. This is a 36 degree projection mount. But this one was actually built for you to be able to project patterns in the wall. But what I like using it for is also as a really nice spotlight that allows me to control the edges of the, of the light that it's giving. In other words, giving an illusion of soft light, even though this is technically a harsh light. If you want to see a more detailed explanation of this one, I will put a link in the description below of another video that I made of how this one harsh light turned out or made it seem as if that image was shot with soft light. Now, I also have here the Nanlite Lantern softbox. This is a 60 cm softbox. This one gives you soft light, relatively. In other words, in, or in order for it to give you soft light, you have to have it slightly close to the subject because this is only 60 cm. And a rule of thumb, of course, is that the bigger the light source, the softer the light. But if you move the light source closer, the light source becomes bigger. So even if this one is relatively small, but if you put it really close to the face, it is still bigger than my face. Therefore, it will be giving me soft light. Okay, so let's start off with this one. Now, you can see that I had my nan light here. What I wanted to do was I wanted to control the light coming from this existing ambient light. The problem if I shot it with just this existing ambient light is that everything will be blown out. But for me to be able to get the proper exposure in the subject, but I wanted to maintain all the details of all my highlights. That's why I added an artificial light. Now, when I dialed in the color temperature and the power that I needed, I actually had it facing the mirror and to bounce back towards the subject. By doing that, I am actually making the light source bigger. I am making the light source as big as the mirror, hence making it softer, creating an image such as this one. There, so my light is actually focused here on their reflection and I focus on their reflection. That's why they are the ones that are sharp. And I was able to control the highlights here and all the makeup bulbs, thus maintaining all the details in the light bulbs. And that became layout number one. 
But afterwards, I actually wanted to make it more dramatic. So what did I do? Instead of actually focusing the light on the subjects, I moved the light in front of them and focused the light on them and not on the reflection from the mirror, which then gave me a more defined shot. In other words, a more focused shot on them. Now here's a cool feature of this Nanlite projection mount. Basically, it comes with like built-in barn doors or built-in gobos that I can make the light smaller or more focused. In other words, this is a 36 degree light and it gives a very nice widespread of light. And I would use this one to be able to create flags and make the light smaller and more focused on them. So that's exactly what I did here. And by doing that, I was actually able to create a more focused light like this one, okay? So that's layout number two. In other words, in just one shot, I was able to create two types of light patterns, one that is soft and one that is more focused and dramatic. Then what I did was I changed my light from this projection mount to that of this lantern softbox. I had my light here in front of them off to the right, but my problem here was that since I was shooting in front of the mirror, I was actually getting reflections of myself while I was shooting. So that's why I covered myself with the curtain that was there in the scene and just had my camera sticking out in order for me to be able to create an image like this. So I can see, you can see the curtains are actually here. This is covering all the distractions in the back. So I don't want you to be able to see that. And I dialed in more ambient light to be able to make it brighter and more playful. And I had another light source as you saw in the BTS coming from here, illuminating them. From there, I moved the light source further away so that I could shoot my subject within this really nice curtains and give it a softer feel. And this was the output, okay? So if you guys have any questions with regards to this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video and would like to subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.